Yeah. Um. All right. The Grammys. The Grammy. The Grammys. The Grammys happened they Sunday. Did. They did. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch because I, I, I don't care. I, I did not. I, don't I, care. I, it's caught, nasty. I caught the highlights. The so older I get, the, nas- some, the nastier some, it is. Somewhat versed in it. It's one big corporate commercial pushing your agendas for whoever you make the most money off of, and you make them wear little stupid outfits. <laughs> and that's the end. I did see uh, Ariana Grande's performance, though. I bet you did. She, so- she sounds great. I bet you did. No, she, can sing. she can sing. Yeah, she's her voice is. Uh, sh- I don't want to compare. This was like an un- this was an unexpected cape. Word. I, no, 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 no. I was not. I expecting- mean, I did catch Ariana. Give it up to him. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the, the mall. But I, no, the mall no, recap no, on Ariana. Mall, no, because I honestly, mall has so she much looks mystique. like she could be from like Morris Park or something like that. Though. For sure, she could be from the Bronx. But I just, you know what it is. Every time I see her, I, I'm like, all right, she's gonna stumble. She's gonna stumble tonight. That's right. I've never heard her sound bad. Like never ever have I heard her sing live and sound bad. Like. And you hear a lot of the great artists when they sometimes they have an off night. Yeah. Never heard of Ariana Grande have an off night. No, she can sing something. Yo, what's up yeah. with you, man? What y'all doing? A Demi Lovato Ariana? chick. Do you see her shit too? No, she I didn't killed see her too. Perform. She can sing, sing. Yeah, Ariana's dope though. Yeah, but short people and fat people can sing. <laughs> Not all. <laughs> Not all. I'm trying to run through. Yeah, if I, I, if I can, if I can agree with this theory or not. <laughs> I fat people not, can not, sing for sure. That's I a fact. I know some short and fat Gosh. people that cannot sing. Maybe. No, we're talking about two separate things: just fat and then just short. I know you're trying to put them together. We're no, not no, saying no. that that I that said combo. I know fat is... people and short people that cannot sing at all, and we're trying to sing. I don't believe it. What? I went to a performing <laughs> arts school. Trust me. <laughs> there were some girls in my school. I was like, "Yeah, you Yo, ain't you, gonna make it." You still pull that? You still pull that out the bag? <laughs> no, but I did. I, I studied music. I, I didn't think that mom would still pull that one out the no, bag. I went it's to a, performing arts school. It's a thing. Like I studied yeah, music. Drug it dealer. worked. He's performing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I studied art. music. Art. What do you want me to do? Mom has definitely <laughs> said to a chick, "Yo, you ever seen Fame?" I went to that high school. You First wanna, of all, I didn't you go to live high school. You went to LaGuardia. I did not go to LaGuardia. <laughs> no, I, see, no, I see what you're doing. Drugs is art. It is. A, it is. That, yeah. that too. No, I don't no. know what you're it's, talking it's, about. It's a culinary, it's a culinary <laughs> art to some it's degree, too. Ah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. 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 It's culinary for sure. I don't know what y'all talking about, but yeah. Um, <laughs> back, I, back to the Grammys that I didn't see, so I don't have much to analyze. Mm-hmm. I told you Billy Rush uh, is going to win all that shit. Yeah, she cleaned up. They won She cleaned up. I thought Lizzo was going to clean up, but yeah, she... Billie Eilish. Lizzo would have. Why they can't several. never dress like them when they clean up? Like, why she was dressed like Pun? <laughs> That's how she dresses, though. Oh, shut up. Yeah, she know. does. That is her style. Shut up. That's maybe, how she dresses. Maybe not the Gucci all the way down, but that's her, like the baggy shit is her style. Yeah. Y'all caper. Whatever. <laughs> that's her style. I'm not Y'all caper for Billie Eilish. I don't know what she's and wearing. Ariana Grande. I don't have any music. You're just mad because she stole your frock shit. Did she? Yeah, she was frocked out. No, no, nobody wants to say all these people with money is stealing Joe's st- uh, frock style. <laughs> But y'all giving them props for it she didn't have and clowning me for it on Instagram. It's fine. Don't yeah. worry about no, it. It's a little, no, it's, that's it's a little flowy. That's not yeah. a frock, though. That's just that's cool. nah, What's, what's wrong with that outfit? Nah, been, that shit is I've, hard. What I've you? been doing the flowy sleeves. Flowy sleeves. <laughs> no, you were just wearing triple XO <laughs> white tees. They, they weren't were, flowy. They, they were flowing. Them shits is flowing. They were flowing. All right, since Parks and Rory. That Gucci shit is hard. I don't know what you're talking about. Not that one, the white one. Go back to that screen, man. I don't care. Yeah, you hating. That's tough. You would you wear you wear that now. I don't care about this girl. <laughs> no, she's not fucking with Billie Eilish. She she's is talented. No, I just don't care. Is all okay. I'm saying. That's fair. She could be super talented. and She could she be is. making the best music ever. I don't know, so I can't comment because I don't care. All the people that they put on the Grammy screen to try to force me to care about, I don't. That's me. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm with you. They very great. rarely put people on there that I care about, and when they do, it's only the tease. And promote so they can make me watch somebody I don't give a fuck about. I was happy to hear that. Shout out to PJ Moore, and I was happy to hear that him and JoJo their R and B uh, record won. Yeah, I was happy to see that. Too. That was dope. I was. I was. Happy did they? Did they win? Yeah. yeah. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, they got I think they were nominated twice. Mm-hmm. Was it right. a televised award or the, what? Of course not. It, it was. I think it was televised. I don't think it was. Well, they might they might have filmed it because they film everything, oh, but I don't know if it was on TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I saw him giving giving yeah. acceptance speech. Lucky, just cause, lucky cause, they ain't win nothing. Not that I saw no, it, no. I went through it the next day. Fucking crooked Grammy board. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know they did the, the Nip tribute, which was great, but I would have liked them to televise his award actually during the, the full Grammys. But I think he won two, didn't he? Yeah, he won well, Khaled, the Khaled record and... And then the and, uh, Roddy um, Rich and, correct. and him record. Correct. J. Cole got one off the uh, 21 Savage feature, right? Correct. So 21 also got one. <laughs> I saw somebody on Twitter say, all that talk about no features. <laughs> 
He was featured. He was, hey, he was the feature. Quiet, quiet with all that no feature talk, man. Take this, take this Grammy <laughs> from from the feature. Yeah. Um, Tyler won. That was that was big. I loved his uh, expect, acceptance speech too. There we go. Let's pull it up. Yeah. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. That's back to our uh, pop conversation. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, funny because we were having that conversation of of how much we liked that album, but we didn't understand why it was in best rap album. Not not mad that he would get a Grammy from it, but kind of what he was saying. I didn't make a rap album. Yeah, I re-listened it uh, maybe on the way back. Right after we had that conversation, I re-listened because everyone yelled at me and said it was a rap album. There was like six raps on the whole album, I think. That's not a rap album, and that's right. not a bad thing. It's okay to say it's not a rap album. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's a phenomenal album, and there's phenomenal rap albums. Why do we have to say that this is a rap album? Right. Answer it. I don't have the answer. <laughs> Roar, you answer what what do you want me to answer? I just said it's not a rap album. Oh, I was going to say answer. Why do they say it, it's a rap album? Because they're racist. Be- because oh. Tyler is a black guy that has made rap before. Yeah. So, God forbid he would make another type of genre. Mm-hmm. Let's pull up this clip. Let's see what Tyler had to say. I got it right here. But yeah, even with, with all the genres, lines kind of being blurred... It's still not a rap album. Agreed. Still happy you won, though. I'm ecstatic. It was my favorite album of last year. Uh, Mine, too, I think. I feel him on the the backhanded compliment. Yeah. I feel him. Uh, Here, I'll play the clip. One side, I'm very grateful that uh, what I made could just be, you know, uh, acknowledged in a world like this. Um, But also, it sucks that whenever we, and I mean guys that look like me, do anything that's genre-bending or that's anything they always put it in a rap or urban category which is and i don't like that urban word it's just a politically correct way to say the n-word to me so when i hear that i'm just like why can't we just be in pop why can't it just, you know what i mean so i i felt like mm-hmm. half of me feels like the the rap nomination was a backhanded compliment like oh uh my little cousin wants to play the game let's give him the unplugged controller so he could shut up and feel good about it. Mm. That, that's what it felt like a bit. But another half of me is very grateful that the art that I made is on a level like this when I don't do the radio stuff, I'm not played in Target, I'm in a whole different world than what a lot of people here listen to. So I'm grateful and like, eh. I know, Inside, I know that I have apologized publicly uh, for my Tyler the Creator hate. But in case I am wrong on it, I want to apologize. So, you know, sometimes you hate people because you hate yourself, man. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's really just all it was. And you got to be careful of that because you'll end up hating somebody that's fighting the same fight as you, mm-hmm. that stands for the same things as you, that represents the same things that you do and goes about it just as abrasive as you do. Well, correct me if yeah, I'm we, wrong. We had... Some of your hate was from personal, like, being in a... Just the closer elevator. comfort, yeah. Just the elevator ride, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But which, 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 when we were having that convo, that's what I was saying to you. I said he's he's you. Yeah. He, he channels it differently, but he's also young and a kid, so it's not going to come across the right way. But his intentions, if you look, are on the same shit that you're trying to do. And, and listen, Tyler's we, we got to identify. No, 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 well, no, no. He was a kid. Time, he was a time. kid when he was in the elevator the with time. him. Oh, and like the early Odd Future stuff, a where, younger man. Okay. Yeah. He was like um, 19 or something at the time. Yeah. yeah. Still, like, that's maybe. a kid. Yeah, that's a kid. Um, so, yeah, his, his was, actions, came, his actions came off <laughs> abrasive and maybe not as focused, but they were still living that as odd future in that independent world and saying fuck the establishment at that time. They were just doing it in a kid way, which came off sometimes annoying. The way kids do. I am. I, I, am, I am positive. That, oh no, I was into it, but I, I I see why people would be. Sure. I am positive that I have annoyed people in an, in an elevator. I, I know I have. I, you've annoyed me in an elevator. <laughs> like I try to do it. <laughs> My mom still tells a story to this day about me being like four years old, and she took me to work, and we got in the elevator, and, um, crowded elevator in the morning, everybody going to work, and the elevator went up, and I said, as a four year old, I said, when the elevator goes up. My penis goes up. <laughs> and you haven't changed. I was going to say, there's been no no growth since Yo, 4 to 40. Why, why would somebody say that in an elevator as, you. as a 4-year-old? <laughs> but I mean, think about it. 
It no, makes, it makes uh, everything <laughs> goes up no, in an elevator. No, no. Everything doesn't go. I up. wasn't even doing the double I entendre. Know, I, know, I know. All right, I forget know. it. Man. It makes it makes your surface tweet this weekend <laughs> make a lot more sense too. <laughs> yeah, I wish they stopped doing that. I know. I, I agree I, with you. I really wish. I'm they not going to even say what it was. Yo, they do, it don't matter. They dug up dug up some old fucking tweets when at the time there were like tweet topics. Yeah, and yeah. you would stick to the topic and you would just go ham on the topic. Or you were just horny. And that, that topic too. and that topic was, yo, I'm so horny. That's what we was on that day. And I killed it. And now here y'all go, eight years later. <laughs> Hate when y'all do that shit. Yeah. Uh back when was to the last Tyler. time uh, y'all played corners in an elevator? Corner. That was a time. y'all game, corners. Oh, nah, y'all didn't do no, corners? corners? No, I play what? hide and go get it. No. King. In the elevator? Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's an edit point. Found you. I don't know if this is an edit point. You mind? Yo, hide and go get it in the elevator is the sickest game ever invented. Man. You ever play hide and go get it and somebody t- and you found somebody they told you they wasn't playing? It didn't matter. <laughs> nah, nah, I found you. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm not hiding. I'm right in front of you. Oh, man. Back to Tyler, the creator, man. I loved what he had to say. I agree with everything that he had to say, man. Why they just they treat us like niggas? Duh. They've been doing that. This is why Puff speech is important to me. Why? We'll give them backstory on Puff's speech. Well, Puff received the Icon Award. Award. Mm-hmm. And he went up there and told them that, no, y'all work for us. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Y'all work for us. Nothing gets popping without us. And y'all are public servants for us. The end. Like, and we have to switch that. We have to switch that thinking. If you want, if you are not clear in that and you don't stand firm in that, you will be, and you're insecure in the art, you'll be tricked into thinking the people that are just supposed to critique and praise and whatever are in control of shit. Right. <laughs> I got no. some of fact. I got some of the speech here. Labels too. All of them. Yeah. Labels, whatever institution you want to name. If you're yeah. not firm in your art, yeah, you might be feeling a little shaky. You might be putting too much of it on them. Man, fuck the Grammys. No. And. That, that's why, because they treat us like second-class citizens. And none of us, our people, ever get up there and say it because we'd be so happy to fucking be there. Mm-hmm. Why? You can't even eat in there. Four hours of me sitting there fucking starving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't even have a good concession stand or food truck or nothing <laughs> out there for when you get out of the Grammys. I know that sounds or, ghetto when you think about the Grammys, but when niggas is hungry... Yeah. No, put liquor. something out there. No, that's why Puff's speech or, is important. Or, or even liquor. That's why Tyler's so shitting there. That's why Tyler's speech was important. That's why you need the people that's not just gonna fall in line and just nah. Nah. Yeah, I was really appreciative that Tyler got up there got up there and said that as a winner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have to point that out. Yeah. The winning changes the the how I how I view this. It changes the optics of it. Uh plenty of losers have gone on this same rant. About the Grammys not being for us and it being some discrimination R. and P. it's O-B-B. not fair and and which to some degree they they are always correct but it comes off differently when you lose yeah than when you win yeah I appreciate Tyler I thank him I congratulate him uh, phenomenal album great album great body of work definitely uh, well deserved well deserved yeah no one hundred percent one hundred percent he should have been in the album of the year category though without question yeah. Without a fucking question. Well, what were the albums in that category? Billie uh, Eilish, Lizzo, Billie Eilish. Hold up. Lizzo. <laughs> Vampire Weekend. I, you guys Billie are talking Eilish. once. I can't hear you. Billie, Billie Eilish, Billie Lizzo, Eilish. Vampire Weekend. Um, Billie Eilish. <laughs> <laughs> Did Lizzo win anything? She won a yeah. couple. I think she won two or three. Yeah. You know, make sure Lizzo wins something. Yeah. <clears throat> Did anybody win something besides Lizzo and Billie Eilish? No. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I didn't watch well, the Grammys. Well, there was still the Nip tribute, which we... Didn't get to yet. Yeah, um, there was. I, I, I watched that the next day. Yeah, Nip, well, they gave Nip and, and Roddy Rich to uh, mm-hmm. and uh, Khaled, Khaled, John Legend. We know what they did. Who wants to give us some analysis? Uh, I mean, it's not much analysis. It was it was a really good tribute. Um, I like them adding in a new song uh, with Roddy and Meek uh, mm-hmm. dedication to Nip. 
Uh, I thought Meek's lyrics were handled really well too, as far as a tribute song goes. Mm-hmm. I love that they put Kobe in the background as well. Yeah, last minute uh, addition there, obviously. Yeah, no, it was, it was a good, it was a really good tribute uh, from people that I know really love Nip, so it it would be handled correctly. I know that we're not supposed to say anything bad about tributes. No, we have. We definitely have. <laughs> and I'm about to. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I mean, let, go me, ahead. let me get my shit off. Let me cook. Man. <laughs> Chill, White Gardner. <laughs> Listen, I know that we are not, you guys. <laughs> I know we're not supposed to talk bad about tributes. Right? I know that Prince one got your goat. <laughs> And listen, it's 2020, so I'm doing this thing where I'm trying not to speak negatively about people and things. And even when I speak negatively, I try to do it in a positive manner. Okay. So let me start with Usher is indeed a generational talent. Okay. I'm glad I'm glad we're on the Prince one. I thought you were about to talk about the Nipsey one. Usher, I have an immense respect for and has been nothing but kind and gentleman-like anytime I have ever seen him. I have no reason to say anything negative about Usher as a person and about Usher as an artist. But with all that said, <laughs> however, how did Usher get picked to do the Prince tribute? I'm not really sure about that. None of us when, are. When yeah. I, again, none love, of us are. They said FKA Usher. Twigs would be there. I didn't know she was just going to be on the pole dancing. She's like a, I, she's funky. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought she was going to sing. Love Usher, but I've never listened to any Usher music and went, I can I can feel the Prince influence. Yeah. He would be great for the tribute. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with anything that he did during this tribute. No. no. Just a, he just won the it one for it. It was won the one for it. I'm almost willing to bet he has an album coming. Well, he does. Uh, yeah, no, yeah he, he does. He told us. No, they've, been, they've been leaking. Confessions, too. Little... He's been leaking records, snippets. Oh, well, there you that go. one snippet, that last, that last snippet he leaked when he was in the studio with Jay. was really oh, good. No, that needs to come. That was really good. <laughs> that needs to come. Um, but that's, that, that's what it is. But more known, at what point is the entertainment industry ever going to put the art before its agenda? Uh, Never. Probably, yeah. Probably never. Well, I probably will not be alive to see it. But, I mean, we have to be clear when that's happening. And this is one of those moments. Y'all got Sheila E., uh, Twigs, Usher. I wish there was some way for uh, the artists to either take control of the Grammys or do their own Grammys without label influence. That'd be awesome. Like, it seems like that would be an easy solution to... I'm not saying it would correct everything, but if you didn't have so many buddy-buddy-friend label people controlling the Grammys and it was artists and producers instead writers songwriters I think it would go a long way I think it would just have That's to the happen brunch. With, oh, well <laughs> not to be, to be funny it would have to start with the elite uh, entertainers coming together yeah. you're right you know the, the, the Beyonce's the Jay-Z's the Puffs uh, the Rihanna's but the elite entertainers can bring together the elite entertainers yeah, no, but I'm just saying they need to come together and form some type of ceremony or award show that honors music from because when you put those type of people at the helm, yeah, they know to bring in what people from what sound, what genre of music, what because like I say, it's always it's all black music anyway, right? But when you recognize like, oh, this writer, this producer, this engineer, this. This vocalist, this, mm-hmm. and you do it from a standpoint of okay, these are people that have either worked directly with them on projects mm-hmm. or have been fans of their music. Even bringing in people like uh, Smokey Robinson, letting them yeah. sit on the board, people that have been around that have written music, Lionel Richie, and just letting them come together and say, okay, this is who we think are the elite and that deserving this. And out of the product that was put out this year, right, this is who deserves this award for this. For that, for this, or that. and then, I mean, I think at that point it becomes more fair. But when you put people in a room that you know have never really, never made a record, yeah, it's it's a little weird. It's like, okay, what are y'all basing this off of? Right. Yeah, that's like if the people that was judging the dunk contest couldn't dunk. Yeah, right. <laughs> or yeah, never competed. That's, it's like, that's exactly what. It is. Yeah, like you. How can you sit here and tell us what's? No, nah, I don't be that until they get to Tracy Morgan. <laughs> 
It'd be Kareem, Dominique, then Tracy. Yeah, You'd be yeah. like, what the fuck is Tracy? You can't, I mean, you can't clap the tap back. It's, it's, it's Tracy. <laughs> no. If Tracy, if, if Tracy Morgan is judging my dunk, I'm going to have a hard time. Well, see, I, I, I don't have a problem with Tracy Morgan as much, even though that, that would be wrong. This is all hypothetical, obviously. But mm-hmm. in the Grammys, the way it works, or at least seems to work, is that it's Jerry West and, you know, the buses or mm-hmm. whatever, making all the decisions mm-hmm. instead of players. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's the analogy. Yeah. Let the artist make the decision. Like, I'd be okay with, like, a little bit of fan uh, input. I'm not okay with Usher doing a Prince tribute uh, sounding like Michael Jackson. <laughs> You're doing records that are of soul and funk. But see, but no, but Joey, I think your you thing is this. you want people to sound like or perform like Prince. That's No, 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 no. no. Or, or something close to Wait, it. Wait, to take us back to our Summer Walker argument that we will never have again here. <laughs> No one will ever sound like Prince. Mm. I get Miguel is close. Mm. Uh, who, who's the girl in the tuxedo? Janelle Monae. Uh, Janelle, Janelle she would have been good because she at least has yeah. that Prince spirit. She fucked. They fucked with each other. They made music together. They, I'm not just mm. rolling with forever. That they yeah. say Prince loved Lizzo, and I'm not buying it. Well, no, he said he was going to produce. She was in a band or That's something. Before that. she got doofy. Maybe so. Before know. she got doofy, I'm yeah, not. Okay. What I'm saying is, fuck his voice. Just his movements, his his air. His his aura, his ambiance, his everything was Mike. <laughs> Nothing said Prince outside of Sheila E in the band back there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He did fuck. He did what's on? He did like he did like Kiss or some shit soft. He did do, yeah. <laughs> like he did yeah. records that cannot be performed in your light R and B voice. Yeah. In a tribute, and totally aside from that, let's say he did the greatest job ever. Prince already told us, hey. I don't want none of y'all doing my tributes. Mm-hmm. Like he said it before he died. Why we don't ever honor people's wishes? Uh, yeah. Word. Selfishness. Yeah. Selfishness. Even though uh, I told Rory the night before the Grammys, at one of them after parties or some shit, I seen like a they were promoting a proper Prince tribute with like yeah. everyone Miguel, the Rude, Sheila E, Morris Day, like all of the people that should have been. It was a long lineup. And I was like, damn, that I wish I would have been in L.A. for. Like, I, I get, I can go to L.A. and partake in a few of the, the like, the cool Grammy events before no, the exist. Grammys uh, the without Roots, supporting the Grammys. Yeah, the, the, Roots, the Roots Jam Session is amazing every year. Like You what, this year? I didn't go this year. I went. Okay. They did two nights last year that I went to. I, I didn't have the time to go this year. Um, but it's it's the best event, in my opinion. Humble that goes on these games. You know what I mean? I was too busy. The time to go to Nova. I was with the Jam exact. I was the only event I wanted I was, to go to. I was with Lucian Grange. <laughs> I was not with Lucian. <laughs> Make us move away with Lucian. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> um, what else happened out there, Rory? Come on, you out there? Y'all never, y'all never be somewhere and come back and give us the scoop. 